time I finished doing all this shit. Get some ball handling on the side and shit. I'm getting it, man. Yeah, my name is Juan Hardy, aka Belma, from Mobile, Alabama. Um, been standing here since what? I was 11, 11, 12 years old. It's all started. We moved to the South Side. We stayed in Dead End. I went to Albert Thomas Middle School. Played over there a little bit. So I tried out for an AU team called the Rock Stars. I never forget this day. Dude named uh, Coach Real. So we practiced. We, we AAU the next day for school. We in the uh, gym, gym class. He tell me on. Uh, he tell me, uh, hey man, you ain't good enough for this team. And I was like the, uh, what, sixth or seventh grade or something like that. So whole day I'm just like mad. I'm like kind of salty, you feel me? But I get home, I tell my stepdad, he tell me, well, you want to quit or you want to keep going? I like, I want to keep going, I want to play, you feel me? So he told me, uh, well, let's go to the park. So man, we went to the park at probably like seven o'clock. We didn't get home till 11. So. Yeah, man, it all started then when I first got down here. So you're you're from Mobile, Alabama. Yeah. And I mean, I would think that's why they call you Bama, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. I mean, who gave you that nickname? Did I mean it started, man, when I was in school. How yeah. you you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's kind of hard to pronounce my name. Right. So boy was like, man, where you from? I said, man, I'm from Mobile, Alabama. It's cool. I just call you Bama. I was like, yeah, that's cool. So it just stuck, man. <laughs> Man, Fifth War was it was it was tough, but it was always tough love. You know, like when I first came around here, they yeah, man, you ain't from around here. Woo -woo -woo -woo. You know, just just try to toughen you up. But I never took it as like they trying to bully me or be scared of them, nothing like that. It, it was never that. It was always love. So then when I started like getting closer to everybody or whatever like that, I started coming to Prince Gym. My best friend, Will, we used to walk from Wheatley Mountain all the way over here to Prince Gym. Everybody know where that's at, man. That's a grip. That's a, yeah, that's a grip. You know, that's a grip. We come here and hoop for hours. Then we got to walk back. You know, so it was just always love, man, coming around in Fifth Ward and Wheatley Mountain. Then go to Coke, go to Finnegan Park, you know, playing, just playing at different parks. Houston just ain't ain't been nothing but family, man. Just just been showing love since I got here. Houston, man, it's like, oh, man, I'm blessed, you know, coming from Mobile, Alabama, ain't that many opportunities, you know, one of the poorest states in the, in the world, so it's kind of hard with all the gang violence and shootings, it's hard to go there and go look at a player, if he ain't a J.D. Davis or something like that, you know what I'm saying, so it's kind of hard, bro, it, it, it's real hard out here in the basketball world, if your mental ain't right. Is there any advice that you can give to maybe a younger player, uh, like some of these people that were in here, that or or a player that might be in your position right now, or you know, once were in? So do you, do you have any advice for somebody? Well, to my young ones, man, that's that's coming up in the high school, middle school, if this is something that you want to do, man, it's gonna take a lot of hours. I mean, a lot of hours. It it just ain't when practice coming. You know what I'm saying, like. And you can't be afraid to try. Nothing beats a, a failure but a try. You feel me? So, and when you do get that opportunity and it's a no, you keep going. And no means new opportunity. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. So you got to keep going, man. You just got to motivate yourself out here. Like, it's, it's hard out here. Like, ain't nobody going to help you but your family. So just stick with it. Grind hard. And for the fellas that's in my predicament, you know, do it yourself. Like, you're grown. So you got to put yourself out there and, and you know, and network. Like, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to open your mouth and talk in front of people and tell them your situation because closed mouths don't get fed. So 
you never know who has the connections to the person that you need to get. be without Houston, you know, with all the opportunities where the ball took me, you know, because, A, you ain't big like that in, in Alabama, for real, for real. Yeah. Not that I know of. Now Houston's a main circuit. Yeah, you know, so that's big. That's real big. So to be able to get that opportunity, play with Houston Hoops, all different type of AAU teams, and then that was like another thing. Like, when my team, Team Stacks, weren't playing, somebody would call me want to play, I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> I love the ball, man. I ain't, I know it got to bounce, stop bouncing one day, but yeah. I'm a pawn it, pawn the L of it, you know. So I'm just, I'm just in love with basketball, man. Just put my name on a big board or something. Man. Yeah, I'm good. I just, you know? you know what I'm saying. Just appreciate you for the opportunity. That's all, really. I got you. I'm, I'm gonna stay in touch. All right. If it ain't business, don't no answer. I mean, you signed a contract to play overseas. Uh, you want to elaborate where you're? Oh uh, man, I'm going to Istanbul, Turkey. You know, it'll be my first gig. You know, rookie season. I don't want to say too much. I'm just going down there, to take care of business, make my people proud. <laughs> your life and when I mean your life I'm thinking about you know all the good all the bad all the decent you know if you can give me one word to describe your life what would it be that's tough because there's so many situations that you can put a word on in each situation so just to sum it all up to one word I'm gonna say grateful yeah, I'm gonna say grateful